me ask you, should I hate you or love you? Because apparently you are different than I am. You are someone else. You are not me and you don't even live in the same place I do. You probably don't wear glasses. And as a result, we are different people. And as such, by popular fashion, I must be hating your ass right now. I must be so hating you. Which is really the main topic of my video of today. Is hate. Because you see, people hate today everything that's different. Every, oh, everyone, everything. People who are autistic, people who are gay, people who are not gay, people who are pro-feminism, people who are anti-feminism, everyone hates everyone. And it goes to really, really, really entertaining lengths. Because you see, we have examples of this, recent examples with the lady who wrote uh, a, a mom, she wrote her a letter saying that she should kill her autistic child because her artistic child is making a lot of noise and it's being awkward her kid is being awkward so it should be put down because you see it's causing a lot of misery to the community it's actually disrupting their normal natural way of life well who's to say what's normal what is normal who came and decided this and this and this is normal and everything else must go who was that i want to meet that person who the hell just came up and said oh being different is wrong well if being different is wrong and i should be killed because i'm tall i'm six foot five or two meters tall i'm i'm a giant man and i dwarf most men and women especially women women Rich about the area of my crotch. Okay? That's how tall local women are. And in buses, my head just sticks out above everyone else's. Which is ridiculous. And I look ridiculous. Yeah, I look ridiculous most of the time because I'm a tall guy. Should I be hated for it? If you look at the logic, which is a very inconsistent logic, I should be hated. But I'm not. Because it's not acceptable to hate people for being tall but it is acceptable to hate people who are of a different so to speak race who come from a different area of living who were born accidentally in a different place or who have different traditions that differ from yours and mostly your traditions and i mean religious traditions tell you to immediately distinguish between the people you come into contact with and if they are different than you in any way shape or form hate them and kill them as soon as possible that is your sole destination in life now that was relevant and that was very dandy and neat about 60,000 years ago when we were a tribal race of prehistoric humans who didn't know better but today we know better why is it that we continue to build our world around hate and around not just any hate of anyone who's done something bad or hurt anyone or, you know, a person who is just a dictator and might just poison his civilians and kill thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. But because he doesn't have oil in his country, the world just doesn't care. No one cares. He might kill 150,000 more people, no one will bat an eye, especially not the UN. And of course, you know what I'm talking about, all I need to say is Syria. See how fun that is? Syria is a place full of hate, just full of hate. And it seems like the hate is spreading all over the world and all over the internet. And I'm pretty much sick of it. I personally don't hate anyone who's not doing anything wrong. If you're different, so be it, mind your own business, don't touch me or get involved in my business and we'll be fine. But for many people, these criteria are way, way, way too soft. 
they need to shoot others on sight. That's what we get, folks. This is why we can't have good things. So I hope you like my little rant. Subscribe, like, dislike. I love you haters.